What you are looking at here is the labor of a few hours of boredom. Basically, I had an old shoebox laying around along with an old computer, and I thought, eh, I can put these together. So I basically took an old e-machine system and uh, threw it in this here Nike shoebox. As you can tell, I even took items such as the front panel connector off the e-machine, as well as the power switches. I meant to tidy those up, but never got around to it, because frankly, the hardware inside of this is not worth tidying up. Uh, otherwise, one of the very first dual format DVD burners, both plus and minus R, RWs, which is standard now, but way back when this was the drive to have. Uh, sadly, it's now sitting in the shoebox system. Around the back, or actually up top here, you'll see a couple holes cut for ventilation, one for the CPU and the other for the power supply. Finally, the back panel connectors because obviously it wouldn't do a lot of good if you couldn't hook it up so let's take a look inside of this and you will see quite an interesting concoction uh, well basically this power supply here is what kind of started my idea I had bought this kind of in a rush as a replacement and it was too small to fit in a basic ATX form factor so I had to put it to use some other way. <laughs> Anyhow, below the power supply you'll see an IDE cable. That would be the hard drive. I think it's a 40 gig hard drive. Uh, underneath the CPU heatsink here is a Celeron 1.7 gigahertz. So, not a lot of use today. Not worth upgrading in the least, so it really gets no use whatsoever. Otherwise, you'll just see all the basic connectors going where they should be. As well as the DVD drive itself, underneath that is more motherboard and RAM sticks. I believe it has 256 megs of RAM, barely enough to run Windows XP. So it's really a machine that serves no purpose whatsoever anymore. It was more or less an experiment that, well, <laughs> that a computer whiz kindergartner could do. Because all it required was a whole lot of tape, scissors, and cardboard. As you can see, cardboard created spacers and platforms for the various items. This was obviously before I had a Dremel and got more into serious casework. This was more or less a board experiment with the tools I had, which wasn't much. So that's about it. Uh, if anybody wants this, you're more than welcome to it. I have absolutely no use for it, and that about sums it up. So obviously a geek like me would never have a use for a computer like this given that it can barely run YouTube. Well, maybe it can run YouTube, but you'd have to run it at like 240p to get it to uh, keep up, alright? Because that processor certainly cannot handle any type of modern flash video. Thus, you have my main machine, which you will see in a separate video. Quite a bit different from the Celeron system, but more on that later.